Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. Human sexuality? You don't have to broadcast it. It happens to be a signed reading for a required course. Oh, uh, you're blushing. I am not blushing. I prefer to maintain a sense of decorum. Unlike you who brought in colored slides of your wedding night. <laughs> oh, don't be hurt. I hate it when you're hurt. This is not a true picture of you. I exaggerated in order to corroborate my thesis. Well, I don't know. Maybe I am going to end up this way. You're not listening to me. This is a paper, theory and conjecture. I was going for a grade. I told the professor what I thought he wanted to hear. You're just saying that to make me feel better. I mean, everything in here is true, including the part about I've never had a non-sexual relationship. Now there, that's a good example of exaggeration. You and I have a non-sexual relationship. How can you say that? Well, I think the fact that we don't have sex is a major hint. <laughs> I don't think that would be a good idea at all. Of course. I understand. Oh, Diane, uh, I've been putting off telling you something, but I feel I, I must now. You've been using the word really far too frequently. In fact, it's become really noticeable. It's, it's really quite maddening, really. <laughs> Fraser, I know you're disappointed that I didn't accept your invitation, but I really, I don't think that's any reason to get on my case. Get on my case? What a charming bit of slang. Fraser, nitpicking at my choice of the correct modern English does not make you any more attractive to me. If that is the purpose in your visits here, perhaps you should find another tavern in which to bore the life out of the clientele. <laughs> I'm so sorry to disappoint you, Miss God's gift to men. It just so happens that I come here to share the companionship of my male friends. So, men, what's on the agenda tonight? Football. Football. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> I mean, raw. Using a colloquialism to ingratiate yourself with the rabble? How very sad. How really very sad. <laughs> Why don't we, uh, yeah. Good idea. Uh, I got the uh, schedule for next week's games here. Uh, anything jumping out at you? Oh, yeah. These are the strongest feelings I've had yet. Well, what, what do you got there? What do you got there? What's up? All right. Um, Indianapolis, Tampa Bay, Buffalo just hit me right in the eye. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet it did. <laughs> What's so fun? Oh, no. Those teams you picked here are a long shot, we. Doesn't even know what the point spreads at. Come what on. difference does that make? I haven't looked at the point spreads all year. Hey, uh, Sam, I'd like to bet these teams with your book. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, how much you want to put down? 20, 30 bucks? Thousand okay. dollars. You own a thousand dollars? Yes, ma'am. It's all my savings. Woody, I'm not gonna let you throw away all your money on gambling. Yeah, you know, Woody, all that money on one shot, you, you gotta be nuts. Yeah, why don't you sit down and give it a little thought here? Excuse me. I've been observing what's been going on over here, and I, uh, I have something to say. Listen up here, Woody. Do you realize that in the course of the evening, Diane has made 17 errors in the areas of grammar, <laughs> etiquette, and statement of fact? Your pedantry is insufferable. And you suck eggs. <laughs> What's this? Please. Something. Please get in here. Sam, is this an M or a double N? <laughs> you forget about them. Sit down, will you? I'm, I'm, in, I'm in big, big trouble. I did something that it felt so right when I did it. Well, now it, it turns out to be all wrong. What's her name and how many months? <laughs> well, Sam, uh, why don't I just sound Woody out for you? There's always the possibility that the money isn't important to him. 
Yeah, maybe not. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, thank you. Sam, by the way, thank you for coming to me for advice. I'm touched. Well, if this works out, you will be. <laughs> Is it possible that occasionally you people might spend an afternoon doing something that actually involves intelligent thought? Like what? I can't conceive. And we can all breathe a sigh of relief for that. <laughs> Excuse me, is there anything on my back like a kick me sign? No. Thank you. For several days, I've been expecting the people here to get back at me for something I did. I brought a man and... Wait a minute, why are you so curious? Just do your crossword and mind your own beeswax. Chambers! 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't put me down. I gotta hand it to you, Whitey. For once, you did something that didn't make me want to shove a rat in your mouth and sew your lips shut. Such praise, I blush. Congratulations, Sam. Yeah, thank you. Uh, excuse me, continue celebrating. Huzzah, huzzah. It was a great win, wasn't it, Sam? Yeah, it was, thanks to you. Oh, don't thank me. I've been amply rewarded just seeing how well you're taking this. The old Sam Malone would have died before letting a woman salvage his athletic pride. <laughs> <laughs> You've grown. You know something? I think I have. Oh, by the way, mm. Tawny wasn't the only one looking sexy out there in bowling shoes. <laughs> No, 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 I was talking about me. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised you didn't mention that. No, no, seriously, seriously. Great form out there. Thank you. Oh, no, no, I was still talking about me. <laughs> all right, all jokes aside here, thank you very much for helping me beat Gary. Well, I'm getting tired of listening to some ignorant blowhard take himself in some stupid competition so seriously. Boy, he really does that, doesn't he? No. I was talking about you. <laughs>